Every once in a while, we encounter a story quite unlike any other. That is the case with uh, Amnon Weinstein. In a small uh, basement in central Tel Aviv, Amnon breathes life into musical instrument with a tragic history. I-24 News correspondent Shahal Pellet takes us inside his extraordinary line of life. Isaac Stern, when they asked him why Jewish people are playing the violin, he said because it's the most easy instrument to pick up and to run away. Amnon Weinstein has a unique line of work. Over the years, he has located and restored violins that belonged to Holocaust victims, then brought them to be played in orchestras all over the world. I was hooked by the subject, and then I had a talk on the radio, and I asked for stories. And you know what is a snowball? One violin, two violins, three violins. Today we have 46 instruments in this project from different stories. All these violins that we are restoring, we are putting them in a condition to play in concert hall. And then we understood the power when you are talking music and Holocaust. It's easier to people to accept, to listen. His personal history is interwoven with the Holocaust as he mourns the loss of hundreds of his extended family. The German took care of it, all of them. My sister once have done a calculation and she arrived to 360, 380 people. You know, fam Jewish family, this was a tribe. Hidden in a basement in central Tel Aviv, Amnon's workshop is a world of its own. He pays tribute to Holocaust victims through his work and believes this is the best way to remember them and continue their legacy. There are violins that uh, people played in the Holocaust, but we don't know their names. We don't have any information. Reason is, the German used this musician, like the orchestra in Auschwitz, that played, and in the morning, in the evening, when all these uh, prisoners were going to work and coming back, beside this famous sign, Arbacht my Frei, 500 meters from there, there was a kind of a wall and they were playing there. This is a violin that is coming from the Auschwitz Orchestra. It's completely restored now. A year ago, Amnon received an unusual delivery. As he opened the old violin sent to him from the United States, he couldn't believe his eyes. This was an amateur because this is a very simple violin, very low quality. And he went to the local violin maker and the guy, without to tell anybody, opened the violin, wrote Heil Hitler, 1936, and the swastika. Closed the violin, gave it back to this poor guy, and the guy played on it until the end of his life with Heil Hitler. This is something you would repair or? Never. It's going to stay like that for the next thousand years. That's finished. Amnon dedicates a story to each instrument and prepares them for performance. The Violins of Hope project, in which his restored violins are played in concerts, has been his baby for the past decade, breathing a new life to these symbols of tragedy. The violin is imitating the, all the beauties of the human sound, human voice. So that's why so many people play the violin. And joining me here right now in the studio is our correspondent, Shachar Peled. Good evening, Shachar. Good evening, Lucy. How did it feel to take part or to, to be able to see this kind of history right in front of your eyes? It was so exciting. It's, it's really hard to bring into words, but this is something not only Jewish people connect to, this is something every everyone in the world who knows what happens in the Holocaust and is uh, connected to um, World War II in any kind of way can understand how music and such musical instruments who have been repaired, which have been repaired uh, over the years uh, can bring back so many memories and the history which has been a part of the entire world and has been very, very uh, hard and yet uh, uh, something that must be remembered for the years. Shahal Pellet, thank you very much uh, for this unique story.